Hello, welcome to this V5 launch video for the Feed Scroll Generator app for Autodesk Inventor. Let's take a look at what's new in V5. Instead of just using a start and end pitch for the bottles, you can now specify as many different bottle pitches as you like using a table editor. You can now create dwell shafts automatically where the bottles stand still using the pitch table editor. You can apply variable clearance to the bottles in two different ways, very useful for soft entry of the bottles into the shaft. You can now add another thread to an existing shaft, so this makes bottle grouping and double threaded shafts very simple. We can now cancel in the middle of a build operation, return back to the builder to make some changes before building again. We now start a simulation from the main form for much easier access. And finally, we now have play buttons in a simulation. Let's take a look at these in action. Here's the pitch table editor. We start out with a single pitch change, but here I'm adding a few dwell sections with zero pitch, making the transitions nice and smooth now, making a few final tweaks. The preview updates and I'm good to go. Any bottle movement you like. Even this multiple dwell shaft is now simple to create or recreate in one operation. Try out some new possibilities. Let's zoom in on the start of this shaft. Now this is the most requested new feature, soft entry for bottles. Here we're starting out with a bottle clearance of 6mm and reducing down to 1mm, but you have complete flexibility for where the bottle oversize should occur. Here's the all round clearance, any bottle shape will do. And here is the stretch clearance option if you want to oversize the bottles in only one direction. OK, multiple threads on the same shaft. Using this option here, we can cut a second thread on any shaft and move it around. This makes all kinds of double threaded shafts like these very straightforward to create. These are all examples covered in our tutorial videos. Cancelling in the middle of a build, very handy. This button here will exit the build and take you back to the main form if you change your mind. The button for running a simulation used to be on the main inventor ribbon. It makes more sense to have it here on the form so that you can run a simulation to test different scenarios at any point. And when you do, you have two shiny new buttons in the simulation to play forwards and backwards with five speed options so that you can properly visualize the new design. Check out the full set of tutorials on our YouTube channel and thank you for watching.